This is your Fast Life Motorcycle Channel. I'm currently in New York for the auto show, but you don't care about that. You care about the breaking news. 2017 KTM 1290 Super Duke GT. Oh, yeah. Have you heard about this thing? So anyway, the link to this article is in the description at Motorcycle.com, talking about this new bike, which they say the state-of-the-art Ultra Sporty Taurus. Ultra Sporty Sport Taurus. And here's some more photos. Nice, nice. The money shot. Let's check out the money shots over here. All right, so go ahead and comment below and let me know what you guys think about the 1290 Super Duke in general. And what do you think about this bike? Obviously, you got to click on the link in the description to go to the full article and read what the journalist had to say about this awesome bike. And um, come back here and comment and let me know what you guys think about this bike. Let's look, look at some of the details. You can see how they scored the bike. Obviously, you got to read the full article to know why they scored it the way they did. By the way, this this uh, story was brought to you by one of my top subscribers, Kenneth Carter. Kenneth Carter with his ZX10R, his red and black ZX10R, uh, one of the top ten videos on this channel, in fact. So here's all the ratings on on the the bike. Value, desirability. So you can take a look at that and. There's lots of great information there. So I just want to let you guys know about this article. Go ahead and take a look at the article. Come back and let me know what you think. I'd also love to hear from any KTM owners what you guys think about this, especially if you have a Super Duke, but just KTM in general. I'd love to know what you guys think about this. Look at that carbon fiber. Sexy. Nice. And so this, actually, another comment on this. Obviously, this would be a competitor for one of my favorite bikes the Capnord from Aprilia which a bike is so awesome for a sporty bike I mean for a touring bike it's so sporty uh, I, I, I kind of went with the with the Hayabusa over that one because the Hayabusa is more dedicated and more serious to the sport bike world but yet still to me for me personally it still has a lot of the sport touring comforts that I that I need so Although the Hayabusa, I don't regard as a real, it's not a, really a touring bike. It is touring enough for me to be happy and satisfied. But obviously the Kapanord and probably the Super Duke are much more appropriate. I mean, they got things like, you know, the ability to plug in like accessory power. We can plug in things and, and the hard bags and you know, just a lot of stuff that you really need. The, the suspension travel. I mean, they're really, really dedicated to being touring bikes, but they try to, you know, amp up that sport, you know, on a sporty nature. But then again, you know, the Hayabusa is officially a sport bike. It's a hyper sports. I mean, it, it's, they're not amping up anything. It is what it is. It's just, it's a big, heavy bike. So it's nice and stable on the road. It's got a lot of power and for me that's my personal choice of the uh i would say the 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 the, the best touring bike that's that that's actually not a touring bike because i don't really want a touring bike i just need a touring bike if you know what i mean like for i love to do long distance traveling right so the things that would be uh you know great for those things you can get from a touring bike but you know, I, I I really the riding experience I really want is more of a sporty nature. So you know, it's it's like I guess what I'm saying is the only reason for me to get on a sport touring bike is because I want the ultimate inconvenience as far as touring. You know, storage. You know, all the little conveniences and luxuries. That's the, that's the reason why I would get that. But ultimately, if I could get that from a sport bike of sorts, then I would really rather get that. You know what I mean? So it's like, ultimately, for example, take uh, here we go. I'm going to take it to the next level now. Kenneth Carter, you know, stay with me here. Um, and Ian Jacob and all you guys. So here's the idea. This is what I really need and want as far as a motorcycle with, with, with you know, touring. We're talking about touring, right? So if I want to do long distance traveling, this is what I ultimately would like. Start with a ZX-10R. 
Because ultimately, I'm a super sport rider. I love those sporty bikes, the nimble handling, the power, the acceleration, uh, you know, the agility, you know, dragging the knees. That's what uh, makes my heart race. That's what I'm excited about. That's what I really need. So why would I want something else? Why would I, why would a ZX-10 be inadequate in uh, other scenarios? Well, it might be uncomfortable after a long uh, trip. So... I would ultimately like a ZX-10R that is adjustable. So I can adjust it in a way where it can get to an aggressive, you know, sport. I may be, hey, Kawasaki, if you guys d design this bike, you actually have a bike that does something like this. Design a bike like this. I want my money. This is my idea. <laughs> you know what I mean? I want my royalties on this. So ZX-10R that somehow you can you can push the handlebars forward and push the seat back somehow and, and move the pegs and all really quick. You can just click, 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 and you get into this comfortable configuration. Now, with cars, cars can do a lot of this stuff because of the way they're built. They can make the suspension softer. They can make the shifting, you know, short shifting so it's quieter, smoother, and, you know, everything can be so much more luxurious. But unfortunately, with bikes, for them to have the great handling, because you're one with the machine, you know, it's going to be you in an aggressive seating position. So it's not easy to go from, you know, aggressive to comfortable. Now, a lot of people saying the BMW s 1000 R, they're saying like, yeah, 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 you know, that bike is awesome. It's all, all around. But ultimately, you know, and I will, I will say, I have not ridden the BMW S1000 R. That that is ridiculous that I haven't. But you know, it's all good. You know, that time will come. But anyway, um, so ZX10R that is adjustable with the seating position handlebars, and then also, what's the other reason why I would, I would depart from a bike like that storage right in a long distance trip i need to bring you know luggage and for you guys that have never done it you know the idea of a backpack that's gonna hurt your back you can't be you know with a backpack uh, on your back and you're going all this long distance it's blocking your view it, you know you can't really move around the bike properly so you want luggage and then the sport bikes are very small there's not much space for luggage and not much space to hang luggage on there's some options out there but you know it's just it's, it's a very iffy type of territory right ultimately i like a bike with hard 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 luggages where you know i could just with a key open it up and you know put your clothes and whatever you need in there and you know everything's quick and convenient but that's the kind of thing you get from a touring bike so somehow make that zx10 meet that uh that 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 problem so in terms of uh somehow have some kind of a hard case thing that's sporty that goes with the bike doesn't make the bike look ugly you can quickly remove it and it's big enough to hold you know a lot of stuff on there it doesn't throw off the the balance of the bike so the bike feels really weird it just works lots of storage and everything is cool um and ultimately you're you're really close to finding exactly what I need. I don't need the touring bike. I don't need the Hayabusa. I don't need the Kapanor. I don't need the Super Duke. What I need is a ZX-10R to be able to go from aggressive, super handling, super sporty to super comfortable where I can go long distance riding, super convenient. I got the cigarette lighter adapter, you know, the power, accessory power. I've got the uh, the hard case luggage and then also wind, wind control, you know, maybe it's a little cold, a little chilly. Uh, it's tiring the wind blowing you around. So the ability to have a, a adjustable windscreen, maybe you can have an aggressive one. And then there's one that you can also kind of, um, you know, just click on. You just kind of push it in, click, click, it's in. And then you can extend it really high and, and have it be like, a, you know, like a touring type of thing but you're still on the sport bike so if you see some nice twisty roads you can quickly click 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 your pegs click 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 your handlebars click 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 your seating position you know change the shifting and whatever whatever and um only thing is your luggage still there so when you're leaning and stuff but you can do good stuff with luggage on there too um and then you go into the twisties and you're you're on this real zx10 you know leaning 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 boom 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 then when you're done you need to get back on the road be comfortable you know again click 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 everything's back in this more comfortable position but ultimately that's what that's what i really want now with a bike like that i don't really have any more need for the hayabusa the Capanord, or the super duke however i will say this there is more to these bikes than just a lot of this stuff about convenience and, and uh, uh, luxuries and that kind of stuff. The other element is it's a different type of engine or engine tuning. So, it, it, you know, the ZX-10R, with all the stuff I've talked about, it's still going to be that high revving engine, right? Very, very smooth. The 2016, very, very smooth down low. You know, we're kind of uh, really, really, uh, you know, powerful up high. Now, the Super Duke, 
I, from my understanding, is a very torquey bike. So that's going to be a different riding experience with how torquey it is as opposed to the ZX-10R. So that's the only thing that's missing. However, torquiness is not something that I get a touring bike for, though, or, or you know, sport tour. That's not. That's just something that, that comes with it. That's how they design them. Um, but I just thought that was worth mentioning that that is something else that would be different if you were to create this ultimate ZX-10R that can go from comfort to, to the aggressive riding position. Anyway, I've blabbed on long enough. Happy, I was going to say happy Friday. It's not even Friday. It's Thursday. Happy Thursday um, or Friday. I'm not sure when I'm going to post this video because I'm really, really, really busy right now. So um, I may just make this be my weekly video for the Your Fast Life Motorcycle channel. You guys stop complaining about not getting video notifications. I've told you before. Go to the subscribe button, click on that gear icon, and then click on send me updates. Otherwise, you're not going to get the updates. Shout out to Hypocrites, uh, Ian Jacob, Scooter Rider 1, Seacam, Fast and Fearless, Motorcycle Extremist, every single one of you guys. Really appreciate the support and the love from the motorcycle community around the world. So, until next time, this is your Fast Life Motorcycle Channel, and I'm out.